If big, imposing convertibles are your thing, then I've got some very good news. This is the brand new BMW 6 Series, and it goes on sale next spring. From its sharp nose with a forward slanted grille to the LED tail lights, it certainly resembles the outgoing model, but it's far more aggressive in the flash. And like most drop tops, it looks so much better with the roof down. The convertible version is followed by the coupe later in the summer, and there's even a four door version expected sometime in 2012. But what do the reader test team think? Certainly a lot sleeker than before. I like the, the lines on the side. The old one, I would say, codfish looking face, if you know what I mean, but now a lot sharkish looking. This lights, I would say, probably the space is not as large as I would have expected in this car this size, but probably the back space is a bit cramped for my liking. A bit tight on the feet, Charlie Chaplin's stance on the seating position. Overall, a little bit disappointing in the space. I think BMW, what they're trying to do now, they're trying to highlight the more the shoulder line of the cars. So if you look through all the other series, six, uh, three series, one series, they're all highlighting the shoulder now. They brought it through to this model now, which looks perfect. You know, it suits the model completely. Obviously, I think with the sporty model, they'll obviously make it look a bit more aggressive. The older model was a bit more dull at the front, especially. The lights were covered up. You know, the grill wasn't um, pointing out or anything. Now they've just sort of narrowed it down to like a you know, shark's nose. This is a perfect car for me, unbelievable. I mean, I've been looking for an, a, a soft top for some time and uh, this ticks all the boxes. It's a superb vehicle. Uh, it's got the looks, it's got the style, it's got the comfort, it's got everything I want. Yeah, it's just, it's just so different. I mean, comparing it to the previous model, it's just superb. The sitting in it is comfortable and, and cosseted. You've got a lovely front dashboard. Everything just, just ekes quality and I can't wait to drive it. Um, don't tell my wife I might order one though because she'll be a little bit angry about that. <laughs> Beautiful looking car, very elegant looking. Um, I especially like the two crease lines on the bonnet. Gives it a very muscular, powerful look to it. So, yeah, fantastic car. My only concern with the car is, is the space in the back. Uh, I think if you've got two adults in there, you're going to struggle a bit. It's, you know, you can only do short journeys in that. So, that, that would be my only concern with it. I think it's absolutely stunning. Absolutely fitted the criteria that I wanted for my next car, basically. I like lots of little touches. The cabin's been improved, hugs you a little bit more, seat's absolutely gorgeous. I like the touch where the door handle's illuminated. I like the fact the door shuts itself, you don't have to slam it on a big car anymore. For the ladies, perhaps, on the, on the side of the seat, on, on the outside, there's a little switch. So if you want to get the seat to go forward or backward, you can do that. You don't have to lean down to get to electronic switches at all. Um, there's very few negatives in that car. Obviously, I haven't driven it, but from the static situation, it's fantastic. Um, it would have been quite nice to have the option of the air scarf. Uh, I think in the BMWs, you tend to be quite well cocooned anyway, so it's probably not going to be an issue. I think it's got uh, a maturity that uh, has progressed from the original design of the 6 Series from 2004. The proof of the pudding will be in the driving. Will the run flats? kill the quality of the ride and will you have to spend another thousand pounds putting on a damper system that counters the stiffness of running a car with run flats. That would be interesting. Now in January we'll be amongst the first to drive the 6 Series convertible ahead of its spring launch but if you want to get a pretty good idea of what the coupe version looks like head over to whatcar.com right now and look at our Paris Motor Show coverage.